crazy. Union Station in Hartford, Connecticut. If you're from here, you know, right? Back in the 80s, especially the 90s, man. This was, this is Union Station, right? This is the bus station. There used to be like a, a, a barbecue restaurant here. There was a nightclub there. A nightclub on the corner. They had Papa's Pizza. And that was the epicenter, Papa's Pizza. We would come here after my fights and then just in the summer, basically like 1991, 92, 93, that was, that was the era. And you could come here at night, Friday night, Saturday night, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night. We would be out here until like, sometimes we'd be out here till five in the morning. Just, just literally just hanging out in front of Papa's and the clubs would get out and people would just, people would come just, just to hang out. They wouldn't even go to the club like me. And so many things happened down here and I mean, the long story short, Papa's had to close a few years ago. Kids, young guys, man, they, they, you know, started getting a rough crowd. They actually shot a gun, gunfire, shooting at somebody inside Papa's. So that, that closed it. These guys made so much money. The money they made at Papa's, the sign is still almost there. Papa's. And they, now it's closed. Crazy. This was the this was the best spot in Hartford. It was almost like a club in itself. Like like the, the clubs would get out and people would hang out there and just hang out. But uh, so I know some of the people watching this they have their memories, right? So here's here's mine. I was sitting here when I used to sit stand right here. This was the spot. Everybody who came into Papa's, you'd see them. Everybody who came out of the club, you'd see them. Everybody in the street, people in the train station. So I'm standing here one time, and my boy Greg, Greg Kyler, Greg was the type of kid, he was only like 17 at the time, and he had, he, he just had the personality, right? So he goes down there, they were doing some kind of Jamaican thing, a festival or whatever it was, and he's down there hanging out. So he starts walking back. I see him crossing the street right there, and he's with this guy. And the way they're talking, the way they're acting, I just assumed it was a kid from his neighborhood. And he gets right here to me, and says what's up and he stops and then the guy uh, he says goodbye to the guy and the guy keeps going and i'm like oh who is that you know and i'm assuming he's gonna say it's some guy in his block but it was uh it was red man <laughs> it was a rapper red man red man with him just started hanging out and they're walking here and then finally when red man got like halfway down he started real people started realizing who he was and he drew a crowd or whatever but another time <laughs> i was I was right here, I never forget, right? And the cop is there and the uh this guy he comes out of the club and everybody's hanging on the sidewalk and I don't know if anybody was here for this watching this, but if you if you were you'll remember this. So right here the cop car is right there and the guy's the guy's gonna he's got a um he's got a uh he goes to his trunk. The guy goes to his trunk first. He goes to the trunk he opens the trunk, he pops the trunk, he reaches in, he pulls out something long, and we all, <laughs> everybody hit the, I was like right here, and I hit the deck. Everybody hit the deck. It turns out it was a car jack. Not a, not, a, not a shotgun, but it was a car jack. And he turns, he starts walking over here, he's gonna hit this guy in the head with it. The guy's not looking at him. He's about to hit the guy in the head with him. The cop comes out of nowhere with the billy club, hits him in the head so hard it literally sounded like an m80 went off i guarantee you could hear it all the way down the block 100 percent. he got he learned a lesson that day you don't you don't do that down here another time i'm not gonna say his name but i grew up with him his, his initials are ka <laughs> i'm gonna tag him in this and he uh so he's out like i'm like right here in the middle of the street and a little ways down by the bus and he starts, a lot of people do it. Over the years, a hundred people have wanted to shadow box with me for some reason, right? And he, and he starts shadow boxing and everybody's out there. And so I said, all right. So I start shadow boxing with him. And I didn't mean it, but I, I threw a left hook with the, with the palm open and I caught this dude so, so clean. Literally, it just sounded like, 
it, but a hundred times louder. And he, his eyes got really, really big and he grabbed his face. And then that was basically the end of the slap boxing match. And he never, he never did it again. That was like 20 something years ago. To this day, I see him and I, I talk to him about it. Everybody heard that. Everybody heard that crack. Let's see. Another time, tell you how small the world is. I had this girlfriend. And we 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 were broken up, and and uh, I'm standing here. You know, just this was the spot, kind of. And I'm standing here, and all of a sudden she walks out. And now we're standing right next to each other. I don't say anything to her, and uh, and she's there. She's waiting for a ride. So right away, I assume it's for. Her, her new boyfriend, her next boyfriend or whatever, but she, she kind of looks at it, super uncomfortable. She's looking kind of at my feet and uh, we never said a word to each other, but it's just so weird. Like you could be around people and never have any idea. Like if I had never met her before, that would be the second time meeting her. And I would have no idea that I had seen her before, but I, but had never spoken to her. So you never know. You see people who you think you're seeing them for the first time. You might have actually been in their company a hundred times and just never noticed it. But uh, but I'm trying to think, man. There was something else happened. A lot of stuff happened. A lot of stuff happened. I had a guy, the lady, the Puerto Rican lady. I forget her name, but she used to have the hot dog stand right here. And I remember I was here and I'm standing here. And for some reason, this guy came out and he was like just really loud really just he i don't know what he was mad at but he, was, he wasn't mad at me but he was really really loud and and i'm at the hot dog cart and i kind of i must have looked at him funny or something and he and he uh and he came right behind me i could feel his breath on my on my neck and he's talking crazy and for some reason i remember this girl named pam smith i just call it pd from manchester pam smith was standing there and with her friends she wasn't with me, but she was there. I just happened to notice her. But And this guy, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm going to elbow him in the stomach and come up with my hand like you see in a movie. And I'm going to hit him in the mouth. I'm going to turn around, and I'm going to clip him with a right hand. But, you know, the whole situation, I didn't know if he had a gun. I didn't know if he was with anybody. So I just kind of let it go, and he let it go after a while. And But that's the kind of stuff could have turned into something really, really, really bad. But... See what else happened down here. Uh, I saw what's his name, Michael Adams. Michael Adams was in the NBA. I saw Michael Adams in here one time. I was shocked. He is not the tallest guy in the NBA. I'll tell you that much. Michael Adams was right here. Another time I was in here, my brother was in here, and I'm not even. I don't hang out with my brother. I wasn't hanging out with him or anything. But he was in there, and it was Italian guys from. Uh, from Franklin Avenue and for some reason he had some kind of problem with them and he uh you know there's like four of them and he's by himself and he he said something really stupid I don't know what he said but he said something stupid so they follow him outside so now even though me and my brother don't even hang out like that I gotta come out so I come out and they're gonna fight like right here but they said, all right, let's go on the other side. We'll go in the parking lot. This is like three in the morning. <laughs> they, we're gonna go in the parking lot. They're gonna fight over there. So I gotta walk. I gotta walk with them. So we walk all the way down there. We walk all the way around. So I'm walking. There's like four or five of them. And it's just me and him. And I'm thinking anytime they want, they could, they could jump us and it'd be over. But so one of them, and I had no idea they knew who I was, but at one point, right about, right down where that pole is, one of them says to me, so hey, uh, when are you fighting again? And right then, I knew I had a little, a little bit of an edge. So, you know, instead of being like enthusiastic, I was like, yeah, you know, I'm coming up, I don't know, a couple months, you know, just, just trying to keep that kind of tone about it. So I had to keep my, my spot there. So we get around the other side, we go in the parking lot, and they're getting, you know, they're gonna fight. So me and my brother are standing there. They're there with each other and they fight. And they start fighting, they're throwing punches. You know, they're wrestling the whole thing, right? To them, it probably seemed like 20 minutes. 
in reality it was like 45 seconds and they got they were both so tired they were so exhausted they both kind of stepped back and i think they realized that the the other one was tired so they didn't pursue it they both wanted to catch a break so i just kind of stepped in i said all right that's it and one of them he wanted to keep it going he was all hyped up and i was like listen i said it's over now that's the end of it and shockingly he was like all right all right i'm sorry i'm sorry and uh and that was it that was the end of it and uh i can't remember remember the guy's name uh i think one of them was named subby who was actually kind of cool with me uh but uh yeah they're fighting and they, they literally probably thought it was like a 15 round war and the reality is it lasted like 45 seconds which which most street fights probably like that let's see what else what else happened down here um who else who else do we see uh i remember after a 12 round fight i came down here we had the belt minor minor belt and we come down and my trainer's with me and he's all excited and we go in we're eating the pizza and you know a lot of people know me hey good fight good fight congratulations blah 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 and there was a guy named ron devon Ron Devon's music truck and he would have the truck parked out here on the weekends and you could walk in it was like a record store on wheels and you could go in and, and I remember he um he saw us and we, he brought us up on his little bus on his truck and uh, and he took I have it somewhere he took a picture of us with the belt and you know and then so he he passed away a few years ago and the crazy thing I I found out he's the father of a girl that I know, that I grew up with all these years. I had no idea Ron Devon with the music truck was was her father. So you never know. You never know who you're talking to. But yeah, so you see, I mean, it wouldn't be busy now anyway, but at nighttime, back in the 90s, boy, this place used to be so, so, so packed. They used to sell pizza by the slice here in Papa's. And they, uh, I mean, it was it was great. We'd be here till four or five in the morning, and now, look at this, all boarded up, and they, you know, people were shooting inside. They ruined the whole thing. And that's it. But but the other, oh, let me tell you one: how people are, right? This is how 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 people are psychologically. So I'm standing here, and I never forget. I had I had, you know, basically sneakers, jeans. I think I think like uh, you know, cut off jeans, right? knee length jeans and I, I had a Jordan shirt on definitely had a Jordan shirt so that would have been around 92 93 Jordan was popular so I have the Michael Jordan shirt and I see this guy and he's right there talking to this girl and he's trying he's trying to rap to her and, and he's trying to impress her whatever he's trying to do he, he obviously just met her he didn't know I could hear him and I heard him say Look at John Scully over there. All that money he makes from fighting. and Look how he dresses. Wearing a Jordan shirt and shorts. And I said, okay, my friend's like, oh, we're going to say something. I said, ah, he's some clown. I'm not going to say anything to him. So I said, you know what? I'm going to uh, I'm gonna let her know. <laughs> so after he stopped talking to her after a while, I went over to her. I go, hey, uh, that guy you were talking to, I said, uh, Oh, oh, because he was saying, he was saying, I could hear him saying he used to box with me. But I'm looking at him, and I'm like, I don't, I don't remember this guy. I've never seen his face before. So I went over to her after he left her. I said, listen, that guy uh, you were talking to, he never boxed with me. I, don't, I have no idea what this guy is. He's a liar. So, so that was good. I got my little dig in, right? But then the guy, he sees me. He comes over to me. Now, five minutes early, he's, ta he's insulting me to her trying to make himself look good he comes up to me like my biggest fan and he's like hey man john scully man i remember one time i was in Belgrade square with you and and you you were in the back and and you told me you know whatever i told him so i gave him some advice as a young kid on that way up or whatever and he was like super appreciative he was like my biggest fan and i'm like oh yeah i said i don't really remember you i don't i don't remember at all and uh so it shows you how people are. Five minutes earlier, he's trying to insult me to impress this girl. And now he's trying to suck up to me like I'm his idol. That's how people are. Clowns. This is a place called the Russell. 
which used to be coaches, which was Coach uh, Calhoun from Yukon. If you remember, uh, he used to coach the Yukon men's basketball team. And it was a place called Coaches. It was really good. I know it was there in the 90s because I fought in Hartford on ESPN in 97. And I remember we went there after. Now it's called the Authentic Caribbean Experience. So, anyway. So this was definitely the spot. And look at it. Now it's all raggedy and closed up. Like this place, this club right here was so, it was two floors up there. It was packed, packed, packed. And now look at it. They ruined it all because these stupid kids wanted to shoot inside Papa's. Now they ruin every single business here. These guys at Papa's were making tons and tons of money. They were successful. They were doing a great service for the city. And a few idiots on one random night and they ruined everything. <sighs> Crazy. But, and then, oh, one more thing. All right, I had to go back to my car anyway, so. Another time, I'm in this restaurant over here afterwards. If people weren't in Papa's, they were here. So they're here, and uh, I'm in there one night, and I was with this girl, girlfriend at the time, and uh, she had a nice body. You know, people would recognize that. And she, uh, we were all walking out, and I don't know, I guess it shows you human nature, like, like how people respond to faces how you respond to certain situations that you don't even realize so i guess it was yeah it was right here so i was uh we're walking out and she's walking ahead of me and i guess he didn't realize she was with me and i was with a group of people but he didn't realize she was with me so he he kind of goes hey 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 yo 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 and he kind of grabs at her shirt and she keeps going so he gets up, like he's gonna follow around. He goes, yo, hold up, hold up. And I just put my hand on his chest. I go, you don't wanna do that. And I don't know, I'm no, you know, I'm no street guy. I'm no tough guy. I'm no street fighter. I'm not that guy, but whatever he saw, he saw my face. I must've had a look. Cause he was, oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, my, my bad, my bad. And he sat back down and, I was, and there was nothing, nothing happened. So I guess, you know, whatever I looked like, it was, it was enough for him, so. That was it, and uh, crazy, but yeah, so now, look at it, it's a ghost town, there's, you know, there's, there's hardly any businesses, look at it, closed up, everything's closed, it's crazy, all one single night, these guys ruined the whole thing, but if you were here in the 90s, you know what I'm talking about. This is a fun, fun place for sure. Free admission. <laughs>